Okay, welcome everybody to my uh, tutorial on how to build SolidCoin 2.0. Uh, I'm doing this uh, using a freshly installed Debian uh, squeeze system, so uh, you should be able to simply follow my steps. Okay, uh, I have done some previous work here, so I installed a, a graphical desktop. Uh, I'm simply going to start that now. Log in. And I'm there. So, uh, the first thing you're going to do is uh, to install the uh, build prerequisites. And uh, I'm going to follow uh, the original Bitcoin uh, instructions over here. Um, which is basically... The build essential package uh, which features the compiler and uh, some essential libraries. Then uh, libgtk uh, 2.0. Then uh, libssl, then we will need uh, Berkeley database, of course, <clears throat> and finally libboost. Uh, you should note uh, that if you did not log in as root, uh, you'll probably have to uh, get root before um, you continue installing the packages. Okay, uh, while Debian is downloading, um, I'll go to a second screen. Open another terminal up, and uh, there's one additional requirement uh, which uh, Debian cannot deliver. So we will uh, need a recent copy of uh, WX widgets, uh, namely version 2.9. It won't build on uh, previous versions. So I basically downloaded this file before and I now uh, unpack it and start uh, to build it. Okay, uh, so it has unpacked, now I'm changing into the directory and do a dot slash configure. In the meantime I can check on aptitude uh, installing the other stuff. Uh, 
Okay, uh, so WX Widgets uh, just complained that it didn't find uh, GTK, uh, which we are installing on the other console, of course. So we'll just have to wait a little. Okay, Debian wants another disk. Okay, this is finished. So we can now retry uh, configure WX widgets. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to uh, download the solid point sources. And um, I'll create a directory for it. And move it there. Okay, so this system doesn't have unzip. Uh, I'll just install this as well. And WX widgets uh, is almost done. So I'm now going uh, to build WX widgets. Um, if you have more than one processor in your system, it makes sense to use the uh, minus J option, which uh, tells make to use uh, as many threads as you specify afterwards which greatly increases the build speed. So uh, I have four cores, but I'm working in a virtual machine and uh, it kind of uses a little CPU to make the video, so I'm just using two here. Okay, this will take some time. In the meantime, I'll focus on the solid point source again. Uh, unzip is installed in the meantime. So I simply unpack the archive and uh, we are set. Uh, one thing, Real Solid did not include the make file in his uh, source archive. So um, I have prepared the make file and you can see the link uh, to the download on the, to uh, on the bottom of the wiki page for building. Um, I'll just download it now. And there is another catch. Uh, we'll need to create a directory for the make file. I'm calling it build after the original Bitcoin sources. Um, I'm moving the make file over there. Okay. So the make file we're using here uh, has slight imperfections uh, because it was adapted to be used in real solid system. Uh, so we'll need to modify it. But before we do that, uh, when I first built the source uh, on 201 Better 10, I experienced a little problem relating from uh, GCC. So uh, this is not an issue on Debian, but it is on Ubuntu, because SolidCoin 2 won't build on GCC uh, 4.5. So we're go uh, just going to check on the uh, GCC version using GCC minus V, which will uh, print some info. Okay, uh, you can see here that I'm using Debian 
GCC 4.4, which uh, should be sufficient. If you're on Ubuntu or having uh, version 4.5 something, you can just install GCC 4.4 like this. Uh, won't be necessary here because I already have it, but you should have it too. Okay, so WX Widgets is now using quite some power from my processor. So you see it's already installed here. Okay, so uh, next step is uh, to modify the make file to uh, work on our system. Uh, I'm using Nano as a text editor. You can use whatever you like. Uh, just open makefile.unix. And uh, first thing is uh, you need to uh, add the version here. Uh, you don't need to do this if you actually have 4.4 as the default uh, compiler. But uh, if you have any other version, you should uh, modify this line to say G++ uh, minus 4.4. Uh, then we'll need to change the uh, WX include paths. Real Solid use a, a prefix version here. Uh, we don't do this. We install it system-wide. So uh, we'll just tell it to use wxconfig without any paths. Uh, this line can actually get lost. And the rest of the make file should be just fine. Okay, so now we, all we have to do is to wait on uh, wx widgets to get finished. Okay, so uh, WX Widgets has just finished building, so I'm going to install it by issuing make install. And we are done. Just to be sure, I'm running LD config, which will uh, refresh the uh, linking information for the Linux system and we should be set. Uh, I'm now navigating back to the source and go into the SRC subdirectory. Uh, one important thing before we go, um, real solid built and wrote the code to fit in with uh, Boost 1.47 we are using an older version of libboost here, um, which will throw two errors at compile time. And I will fix them as we go. So I'm now doing make minus f. Uh, and specify the path to uh, the make file. Okay, this one is the first error. It's really easy to fix. Uh, I'm now going to launch my uh, code editor. I'm using Kate here uh, because I like it. 
and it says uh, in init.cpp uh, there, there is no uh, function named string and it's quite easy to fix um, it's line 449 And I'm going to move this window into a separate desktop just to make it uh, easier. Mm, okay, this one's used too. And then take it to 4. Okay, uh, press F11 to show line numbers and scroll down to line 449. Um, here we go. Um, so you simply remove string as in boost uh, 1.4 file name already returns a string. So that's the first issue to fix and we go back to our make window and launch the make process again. I'm just moving this way too.
Okay, and here we go with the second error. Uh, it says uh, file system path has no member named CSTR. CSTR is a generic function to convert a C++ string object into a uh, C char array. Uh, we're going to fix that as well. It's in uh, ui.cpp at line uh, 2072. So I'm simply going to open this one. And I'm going to navigate there. Um, 72 it was. Yes, this one. Okay, uh, so this one is uh, also easy to fix. We simply uh, add a native underscore file string to brackets and a point, and it's fixed. And we go back to our build window, and we are almost there. <clears throat>
Okay, and now it's linking, and uh, we're finished. So to check whether everything went fine, actually we don't see an error, so everything uh, should be fine. We will uh, just display the binary. And here we have it. It's uh, 5.2 megabytes called solid coin. And uh, before we are actually going to uh, use it, uh, we will just build the demon as well. Yeah, well, I could use this one. Uh, so to build the demon, you simply append solid coins as a parameter to make. And this one will build for uh, some time. And while it's doing this, uh, I will start solid coin that we just built. Okay, so this is the binary we just created. Okay, it's starting up, and I moved it to another desktop. Or somewhere. Okay, I think I've lost it. So we'll simply cancel it. Okay, so before I restart it, uh, I'll just check whether the uh, process has vanished. Okay, seems like this. Now it's still there. So I just uh, terminated it. And we are doing it again. Uh, it can sometimes happen with my window manager that SolidCoin will uh, vanish when you move it to another desktop. But uh, it just started uh, correct this time. And you see uh, it already got one connection. It's downloading blocks and everything works fine. Except my system is a little laggy because of the build process in the other window. And we got our receiving address, and I will just uh, send some test coin. Ah, well, better not because it's uh, it has to download the blocks first. But yes, it's working. Okay, so I will exit it because uh, the demon. Yes, the demon has just finished. And uh, again, you can ensure you have it by simply displaying. I uh, used an asterisk here uh, just to show all the binaries because uh, we built solid coin in the first step and solid point in the second. And now I'm going to show you that solid coin does work. I'm directly running it as daemon, <clears throat> so let's see, oh, it's already up, and you can see uh, this one is uh, working it uh, as well. So that's it, 
I hope you enjoyed and everything uh, worked out perfectly for you. And have fun with SolidCoin 2.0.